Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tuesday, which means we didn't have a video yesterday, so we're going to cast a bronze game for you today on Tuesday, and a silver game later on. Aren't we, Iron Sparks? Yes, we are, Jay. Could you hit play? No. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so this will be our bronze game, uh, formerly slated for Monday, but currently on Tuesday, but hey, it's summer break. Who cares? Uh, hit me up with those names. Names. Hit me up with those introductions. In our north starting position, we have Funky, a red zerg. And in our eastern starting position, we have Gray, a blue Protoss. All right, PBZ. Go Terran. Go Zelnaga. <gasps> that would be so cool. You know what I really expect from Blizzard and the last uh, the Protoss? Expansion for StarCraft 2. I expect Zelnog in it. Weren't they in the campaign for Wings of Liberty? Were they? What was making the hybrids? Um, that was a Zerg, wasn't it? Well, it's a hybrid, so. Isn't that a hybrid Zerg and Protoss? Ah, I'd have to go through it again. If anyone knows the answer to that, please check. I haven't played the campaign in maybe six months. I haven't played the campaign since the game came out. You beat it, though, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Didn't you it was a good... I liked the story. It was a good campaign. Um, I am definitely looking forward for Heart of the Swarm. I know that at the last MLG in Anaheim, they actually... Uh, I know you were telling me about it, that they had uh, demo stations that you could play Heart of the Swarm. Yeah, try out all the new units. And uh, good news for those of you who love all the Protoss units. Uh, the carrier so far and the mothership are slated to stay in the game. All units are still going to be in the game. They're just going to be adding some. A little bit, yeah, and I know the Thor is going to remain in for the Terran player. Uh, I, I read an article, I believe it was on IGN, that uh, the only thing with Blizzard is they don't want too many too many units for each race, so then it gets a little complicated for balance. And uh, Is that a complete wall-in from Gray? It looks like it. Um, I think Gray is the Terran player, and he got confused. You mean you can't drop those pylons <laughs> down? No, but what he can do is warp down to the low ground, so it, it'll help him out. He just won't have any units out first. And um, my guess is, because it is uh, PVZ, Gray has most likely been six-pulled a couple times before this game. <laughs> and it is a pretty close spawn position. It doesn't take long for these Zerglings to run over, so you could be just doing it in precaution. Not at all. And uh, this is Metalopolis. It is a ladder game. We do have our classic blue and red. Uh, Blizzard did go through and get rid of the close spawn, which would have been the southern spawn position, and uh, for example, where Gray is now. So it's it's not a quick run by. Uh, we do have this. Uh, I believe we have two Zerglings, but they're just holding up that watchtower, which I like from Funky. He'll definitely see any uh, any move outs from Gray. Um, no production right now for Funky. Uh, I've done quite a bit of talking, so Iron Sparks, you go. This week will be the last time we'll see a Metalopolis being casted. Oh yeah, Season 8 starts today? today. Yeah, started today. So, uh... That means I need to play my one, uh... Placement match? Placement match, jump into gold or platinum, and then done. <laughs> platinum. I've gotten really close. I don't have time to play, like, a hundred games like some of the pros yeah. do, like, every two days or so. Right, we do have a Roach one going down, which is a good choice against Protoss. Absolutely, Roaches do uh, really well against the armored units of uh, the Protoss Warp Gates. Um, Funky just looks like he's uh, gearing up for a good old four gate. He has some Zealots outside his complete wall off. Uh, just to get a little bit of damage. Uh, is that... It looks like it looks like the Zealot could sidestep into the base. Maybe if he like, jump, jumps over the corner of the game. Oh, that'd be so cool if Zealots could jump. That'd be OP. No, <laughs> that'd, that'd be cool. Like, like if they have zealot legs, it allows them to jump up cliffs as well. That'd be really cool. I want that now. Adam's, Adam's Place. Place Cafe. Looks delicious. Empty retail. The recession has hit Metalopolis as well. It, it says something. I just can't read it. Yeah, it's out of business. That's why. All right, so we have Zerglings. <laughs> An expansion not being mined from? Uh, I believe it just went down. You can tell by the creep. Uh, You're a creep. What? I'm kidding. You yeah. know what's really annoying? Funky supply. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys play Minecraft, but Iron Sparks and I, we got uh, Minecraft for the Xbox. And uh, that game's addicting. It's essentially 
building with Legos with digital blocks. It's kind of fun with that way, but creepers suck. Yes, they do. Actually, they blow. Because they blow up. That's wrong. It's wrong. Ah, uh, we have a massive flood of uh, zerglings coming in. Uh, I don't know how effective this is going to be. Not very. Those, those three zealots are going to town. One zealot is down. It looks like they might get... Front zealots look like our uh, our stalker is gonna hold the wall, but they're just, they're not gonna be getting. I would I would like to see Funky pull back those zerglings, and I would like to see a uh, bangling nest. Monkey. Funky monkey. What? Brass monkey. That funky monkey. I don't know the rest of the song. Me neither. Right, Still <laughs> not mining off his Uh, it's you, a uh. Going for the lair. Okay. Um. So we have a warp gate, but he's still using the gateways to warp stuff in. Uh, That's because he has them queued up. Gray is going to need to break down one of those. Definitely not an Artosis pylon in there. No, he's got power everywhere. <laughs> I don't know, actually. Well, I guess if you take out that uh, that pylon, you might depower the core. But You know what I think? If you depower the core, I think you should lose the... Ability to build sentries and stalkers. Why well, the building's still there? But it's not activated. So if you lift up your factory, you can still build the. No, not when it's floating in the air. Yeah, but you can still because you need a factory to build what? Uh, ghost? No. No, you, you need the factory. You don't. You only need the factory to build. What do you get from building the factory? You can build the starport. Don't you get the upgrade for reapers? If you research it at the tech lab. Yeah, but don't you? Have, you have the ability to research it. So. So if you lift it off, you shouldn't be able to research it anymore. Okay. So we have a star yet going down on a You forge. just really don't like Terran. Well, I'm just saying, it's if the building's there, you You're should Starcraft utilize races. it. What? <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like Gray is pushing out with the troops that were on the outside of his base. Uh, those Zerglings are running home going, No! Help me! Mama! Mama! We have some roaches on the high ground. They should be able to get... Ooh, I like how the Queen's blocking the ramp. Excellent move by Funky... And, uh, uh, let's see, I think he is going to lose his expansion, though. I don't, there's no doubt about it. There's just not enough. Well, it depends, uh, Funky is moving his stuff around on the creep. I, it's definitely good. Uh, he'll, he'll save it. it. It looks like he can get rid of those zealots, but he is losing. He's down to about three ro roaches. The queen is down. Oh, that was, that was close. That was not- I don't think that was bad from Funky. I think that was a good hold. It's not over yet. Yes, especially we have those two reinforcing stalkers. Uh, we have seven roaches on the way. Once those pop out, I'd like the- I like the micro that's going on behind. He was trying to scoot the stalkers away. He saved two drones. Uh, is there a proxy pylon? How are these? They're just walking over. Oh, come close. Um, Funky has nothing to combat this. Seven roaches and... The seven roaches, if he if he does a little bit of micro, just kind of walk those units away. I, I know, but we've seen a little bit of micro from these guys so far. Just a tiny bit. Um, he's definitely just targeting one stock at a time. That's better than just running them in. Uh, we do have a void raid that just finished for gray. Uh, and unless a couple more queens pop out, that's definitely going to be GG for Funky. Alright, here it comes. Oh, I wonder if he's gonna go straight for the for the lair, or he's gonna go overlord hunting, or sit there. sit there, sit there, sit there is a good choice. <laughs> uh, we do have a queen popping out, but I think that's out at the natural for I don't funky. Like this placement of the roaches. Um, he's gonna need the push, but I do believe there's a ton of units still at the gate of of gray because he walled in and he never he never destroyed any of those pylons. Uh, this is actually, it reminds me a lot of StarCraft 1 play. The only thing that Gray uh, included was uh, some, the Warp Cape tech. But uh, these Zealots are going to make quick work of the Roaches. There's just too many Zealots. Uh, we haven't seen any of the spells used from the Sentry. Oh, okay. Guardian Shield. He knew I was about to say that we hadn't seen any spells used. So uh, uh, it looks like I, Funky's going to die from just... Void rays and uh, probably four, maybe five void rays, and he's done. I don't, or not. I'm gonna stop trying to predict this <laughs> game because I'm not doing very well. You really can't do that at bronze because, of course, these players don't have 
um, hardened practice build orders. I'm surprised he injected Larva. I'm so not. He has a lot of energy on that queen. This one too. He does. He does have about two two injects on that one. Well, the thing is, and I know a lot of uh, casters and, and articles I've read about higher level play in StarCraft is Zerg is a very complex race to play with when you're beginning StarCraft because it does require a lot of macro. I mean micro. What I was going to say before my brain fuzzed out was you need to do a lot of micro, a lot of little things to keep your macro up on Zerg. And uh, we do we have those void rays. That's so it. There goes any uh, protection. I would say just focus on that hatcher. He doesn't need to focus on workers. Um, there goes the other queen since that void ray was charged up. He did pull that one void that has its shields down away. I like that. Uh, just focus on the lair. That's all you need to do, Cray. He has no defense above, even though he has the capability of building his four colors. He did, uh, and he has over 1,200 resources, so it's not like he's hurting for money. Uh, Funky right now could run over and build a ton of hatcheries, throw down a bunch of spores, and be fine. But it's bronze. And do have Grace units moving out to uh, just put the, the second job. unnecessary nail in the coffin. Yeah. Well, just so they don't break out when the zombie apocalypse happens. I expect steel coffins then that are <laughs> welded shut with like the best underwater super high conductive pressure weld ever. I don't know if that's anything is because I don't know too much about welds. I know I know tacking and I know Why underwater? welds. Uh, because underwater are welding is one of the most dangerous what? jobs ever. Alright, uh... This was definitely a bronze game. <laughs> this is a... Uh, uh, Funky's not gonna GG out. And he's going to kill these many, many larvae. Poor little baby zerglings that see there's no need to murder innocents like that. How can we do the creep tumor? Right next to the uh, hatchery. We well, wanted to make sure that spawning pool stayed alive. <laughs> right. Um it looks like it's gonna come down to the last building. Uh gray wins. No contest. Uh nothing fantastic. Funky leaves because he has all his buildings gone. Uh well that has been bronze. Should have been Monday. Bronze Tuesday. Um, we have a silver game to cast right now, right? Yes, we do. Alright, so we're going to jump over to the silver game. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. Share. And uh, you have a great day. We'll, we'll see you in a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah. Bye.